Good morning and welcome to Tokyo Narita Airport. Today, we are taking business class on Japan Airlines to Kuala Lumpur. If you want to see the review of this flight, please click on the card that appears. The Sakura Lounge is found immediately following the security and immigration checks. A Skytrax award is also proudly displayed, certifying them as a 5 star airline. Initial impressions are very good with a high class premium feel. Stepping into the reception area, simply present your boarding pass to the staff member to gain access into the lounge. Follow the sign and head downstairs using the escalator. When you reach the bottom, a floor map is provided for the Sakura Lounge. Walking in, you will find a big open space and I was lucky that it was quite empty. Upstairs is the dining area which is where you can get some food. Of course, there is also an elevator available for those who need it or for the super lazy like myself. Arriving at the top, we can see the staircase from the bottom floor. The dining area can be seen in the back, followed by some tables and seats. Before getting any food, I got a table first which has double power points and a USB charger. On each table, there is also a QR code where you can scan it and order meals to your table or book a shower room. So, if you're traveling solo or in a group, there's plenty of seat arrangements available to suit your needs. At the front of the lounge, there is actually a good view of aircraft that is covered by blinds this morning. Taking a look behind these, we have a bunch of Japan Airlines 787 Dreamliners waiting to go at the gates. On the opposite side is a gorgeous Malaysia Airlines A350. I actually took this flight coming into Tokyo on business class, so click on the card that appears to see this awesome flight. Focusing back inside, we will now get some food from the dining area. This is the main area where you can order a big range of food. Here's the menu with all the items available. We tried the Japanese style combination which was tasty and not too heavy. At the bottom plates, we ordered the chopped salad, this was refreshing. The American breakfast also looked appealing so I had to get it and again it was very tasty. The signature dish however is the Japan Airlines beef curry. It is full of flavour with a very generous amount of curry sauce. The beef itself was very tender and juicy. Next, we will take a look at the self-service areas of the lounge. In this area, there is champagne and wine available. In the main area, there is a coffee machine along with more whites and red wine. Next to this is a multi soft drink dispenser. The coolest thing however is this automatic beer dispenser. Simply grab a glass and put it on the platform and press start. There's even chilled glasses in the fridge right next to it. The end result is a perfectly cold beer. The last thing we will look at on this floor is the bathroom. As expected, it is spacious and very clean. Next, we will take a look downstairs, which has another big seating area. It was completely empty down here, so I can really take my time and film the area. Again, like upstairs, there's many variations of seats available and they all look very comfortable. Powerpoints are also bountiful and can be found in most seats. This lounge is indeed very very spacious, and even if the current number of people tripled, there still would be many leftover seats available. The last thing we will check out on the first floor is the shower area. If you remember from earlier in the video, the showers can be booked using the QR code on your table. There's about 5 shower rooms available and you will be sent an email when one is ready for you to come in and use. Today, I'm in shower number 4. First impressions are that it is super tidy with a very modern design. The size was average but there is enough space to bring in your hand carry luggage and still move around. By request, you can also get a cup, toothbrush, and razor if required. The toilet is next to the shower and of course in the typical Japanese style. 
Looking inside the shower, there is complimentary shampoo, conditioner, and body soap provided. The shower was nice and warm with easy to use controls. There's even these extra vertical sprays that make the shower even more comfortable. When you're done, press the unlock button to exit the shower. So that's it for the Sakura Lounge at Narita Airport. I found the experience very pleasant and I can't fault anything from my time spent here. The staff were exceptional, the food and drinks were good, the showers were fantastic and overall the general vibe was luxurious. As a result, I'm giving this lounge a 10 out of 10 and I would highly recommend visiting. Thanks for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you next time!